Hi everyone, today I'm going to walk through how you can add um, custom related lists. So an example would be if we're looking at a donor's record, uh, you can see here these are all the donations and this is typically how this would be listed on your page layouts. But it bunches them together so you're going to have all your major gifts, your pledged, your closed, um, all of them come together. So if you want to separate them out, so you can see here we have our major gifts here, we have our pledge gifts here, and then we have reoccurring all kind of Put in nice packages. Here's how you can do that. So the first thing that you'll want to do is you'll want to go to the App Exchange, and so I'm using this component. It's called the CMTD Enhanced Related List. You'll install that in your Salesforce instance, and then once you have that installed, you're going to go to your setup. So you must be an admin to be able to do this, and you're going to go to your setup and then quick find and type in metadata, and go ahead and select custom metadata. And then you're going to go down to the enhanced related list. So that's what that app would um, install into your instance and go ahead and select manage records. And we're basically going to create the columns that we want to see on our contacts page. So how you're going to do this is you're going to create one by one. And let me just kind of give you an idea of what you're going to be creating. So when you're seeing the enhanced related list name, what this is, is this first piece right here is going to be the object's name followed by an underscore and then the field name. So as an example, let's go ahead and open up our donations object. So if you're not quite sure what needs to go there, uh, this is how you would double check that. So you'll go ahead and open up your objects and let's look at our donations. And so you'll see here donations. We built that on top of opportunities. So that's what you're gonna use is the API name for that object is opportunity. And then when we dive in a little bit further, we can see our fields, and then you'll take the second column as the field name. So let's go back to that. So the related list name would be opportunity underscore field name. The label is going to be uh, basically the column header. What do you want to see on the column header? And then when you have this on the layout, what is the name of this list, this related list that you're going to um, apply? So I put this as a donation. And then these are the fields um, that we are pulling. So again, opportunity amount, and the field name is amount. When we're looking at close date, it's opportunity of close date, and close date is the actual field. And then basically you're gonna say, do you wanna keep a header? And in what order you, do you wanna see that? And then the last thing that I've done is, when we're looking at the opportunity name, the target field is actually going to be the ID. And what that does is that allows us to actually click on the name and take us to that record. So let's open one up so you can kind of see how it looks. So again, if you want to create a new one, you'll just hit this new button. But let's look at opportunity amount. And so you can see here, this is the related list, we're calling this donation. And then the field that we're going to pull from is the amount field. What do we want to label that field? So the amount and then uh, the related list name is the object underscore and then the field name. And then what order you wanna see, hit save. Let's just look at one more. I'm gonna do um, stage name. And so we're gonna go ahead and look at this one. Same name for this related list that we're creating. And then the API name is stage name. And again, if you're not sure what these fields API names are, go back to that um, object that you're trying to pull that. And I know the field is called stage, but I'm not sure what the API name is going to be that second column. So that's how you know exactly what you need. And then you'll continue to add those fields. So once you've got all the columns, so think of each one of these as a column that you're going to show on this donation related list, you can add it to the page. So let's go to Rachel's profile. And up in this little gear, you're going to go ahead and select edit page. And then what you'll do from here is on your search panel, you're gonna find that component that was installed when you added the app. And I'm gonna type in CM and you'll see it right here. And so wherever you want this related list to show up, you're gonna drag it. So I have a specific tab called giving. And so what I would do is I would just drag this over, drag it right here. And then on the right side, you're just kind of going through and filling out the information. So what is the object name? Again, this one is opportunities. Opportunity. Um, we call it donations when we're using NPSP, but it is still the um, opportunity object. And then that related list name. This represents this name that we've created here. 
So we'll go ahead and put donation. And then how do we know which donations to pull? So what I'm doing is I'm saying the parent record, you could keep uh, account ID. I'm going to say contact ID because I want to know Rachel's donations. So I'm going to add that in there. And then we get to kind of play around with uh, the look and feel. So I'm just going to keep it list view. Um, and then you can add filters. So an example would be record type ID. And if you're not sure which field, so I want to, I want to filter out the different types of records. And again, if you're not sure what this is, go back to that um, object and then go to the fields. And what do we call record type? So I'm going to type in record. And so we can see here donation record type is record type ID. And then I want a specific record, record type. So I'm going to go ahead and select record types. So I'm going to select legacy gifts. And then I'm going to copy up here on the top. Let's see, you guys can't see this. So let me drag my screen. So once you see here on this header, you're going to go ahead and um, copy this um, digit. This is like a unique identifier. So go ahead and copy those. And then what we can do is add that to this related list um, filter. So record type ID equals, I always get stuck here, just do, um, you're not actually doing the double quote, you're just doing one. And then we'll add that in. So now we've told it only include legacy gifts and you can kind of see it starting to build for us. And then you can decide which, um, how you want to sort, how many records you want. And then from here, what do we want to call this? I'm going to call this legacy gifts. And then you can change the different icons. Uh, so we have different icon names. If you're not sure which icons to use, I usually just go to Google and then I'll type in Salesforce icons. And then I'll select this first one that pops up and you'll just kind of need the um, category as well as the name. And so you can see here, this would be the category. So utility icons, I'm gonna go down to the ones with colors in them. Uh, standard icons, and then here's the name of that. So let's say we're going to do, oh, let's do custom actually. I'm going to go down to the custom section so you can kind of play around with what you want. So custom, and then this is the, the name that you want. So let's do, I'm going to do custom five. And so I'm going to come back to my page layout, and instead of it being standard, it's going to be custom, and then we'll paste the name of that. And so then what it does is it changes that little icon up there. So you can have different icons for the different um, sections you're building out. And then as if you wanted to, what you can do is um, this new button right here. If you wanted it to be specific when they select new, it's going to be a legacy gift. So within this, you want to put the actual uh, record type name. So this one word for word, I'm going to say, or character for character is legacy gift. So I'm going to come back over here, type in legacy gift and then hit save. And so now let's take a peek at her uh, profile now. So I'm gonna go back out. And then when we select her giving, here is her legacy gift. And we're ready to go. So you can use this enhanced list view for any of your records. Just make sure if you're gonna create a new one for a different type of record. So an example could be um, cases. So you would create a list view for cases and then you would just reference those fields and then you would add that to the page layout. All right, thanks everyone, and enjoy building out your page layouts. Take care, bye.